Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 23, The Black Lake. Free play for Lego Harry Potter years one through four. As you can see on the far right, we do get all of the collectibles minus that one gold brick that we got for completing this level in story mode. And uh, we do require a dark arts or dark magic wizard and 62,000 is the goal for the true wizard status. So that being said, we are officially in the super, super home stretch. Only two levels left, this being one of them. Let's go ahead and select the Black Lake free play and get to the business. Now, right off the bat, you probably noticed House Crest 1, Blue, Part 1 of 2. Well, there are a whole lot of collectibles in this area, and they're scattered all over the place. The first one that we're going to try to tackle is a two-parter as far as our video goes, and there are these clams. There are nine total green clams scattered throughout the swimming area. We are going to get the first five right off the bat. So we've already gotten three, and we've barely swam anywhere from our spawn point. Now, it's important to note that we do have video quick links down below in the description, and it will actually have Housecrest 1 blue, and there will be two different time links to take you to the two parts. So if you're looking for these specifically, use the quick links. If you're playing along, follow along and enjoy, because we will get them all, and it'll be pretty easy. But uh, that being said, so we're going to swim through the first little tunnel tube, and we're going to head off to the very far right. Now, there is some stuff back to the left, but we're going to backtrack here in a second. There's the next clam, it's number four. It's right as you get to the big pillars of whatever uh, kind of establishment is up above us. But uh, the fifth and final one for this part of it is going to be right on the ledge here. So grab those five and then let's double back, get some studs and get a collectible or two along the way. So we're gonna have to go all the way back. This time we're gonna skip going through the little tube and we're gonna use Wingardium Leviosa on these two little green worms on this rock. There are three spots that there are worms and rocks and you need to get these two guys to come eat them and blow them away. So we just did the first of three and we'll come back to that again in the video description. There are three different links to that collectible. So sorry that this is confusing. Blame the developers. We couldn't do much about it. We just tried to make this as easy as possible for you guys. So all the way kind of at the very beginning but in the foreground there is a treasure chest Go ahead and smack it with Reducto and grab it for that first character token too. So, All right, so now we have to swim back and kind of play catch up, so to speak. Uh, get back to where we were. So we're going to go ahead and keep swimming to the right. We're going to bypass the tube, the old swimming tube, the old da -da 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 -da, the old Mario tube. Ooh, look at this. It's a goldfish, literally a goldfish. And he had baby blue eyes too. All right, so there are a couple of these squid-like things. I'm sure there's a name for them. I'm just going to call them squid-like things. So, <laughs> And uh, we're going to take those out, continue to get all the studs that we can. And uh, we were a little unsure if we were going to be able to get the true wizard status, but it turns out no problem. All right, so the next tube is right there. You can see you have to bust off a bunch of rocks to actually uh, undisguise it because it's hiding from us. And then we're going to fly or swim back to the left-hand side here. And I know you probably saw that clam there. But before we get going on that, we're actually going to go ahead and use Wingardium Leviosa on the two oars. And then we're going to help this guy row, row, row his boat gently off the student. Turn that frown upside down because we saved him. Uh, I couldn't think of anything to rhyme at the end. So. Shame on me for that. I'll work on that for a future video. But that being said, here we are in part two of two for the clam so this is for house crest one and again there are a total of nine clams if you missed the first part go ahead and click the house crest one link down below in the video description otherwise use wingardium leviosa on the squid arms that are blocking your path and the third one that you can't control actually rips down the building or the the little pathway there and uh, it actually shows us that there's a clam in the foreground. But I tried to get to it, and you can see it even with Eamon. I can't get there quite yet. So we're going to go and keep on keeping on. And in the back, back there, don't forget that guy. There's one hiding back there. Use the tube. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now we're on the other side, and there's that one that it showed us in the foreground. But hey, take out that squid light guy first. And Booyaka Shao, only one left. So here we come, keep on keeping on past the tube and go past the green worm and right up on top there after you defeat this next squid-like thing. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and bust that final clam, and look at that, booyah ka shao. House crest number one is now ours. So now moving on to house crest number four, part two of three. This one is two more of those. There's two more worms, two more guys. You gotta use Leviosa on the worms. They come swim in and then give them the old whack on the back and uh, they'll give you credit for those. So go ahead and use the link down below in the video description if you need to go back and see the first one. And there is a link to the third one too. So otherwise use Leviosa to put the two fish pieces together and put them back into one fish and uh, then let them swim away and knock over the stuff and clear a path for us and then gets to swim into the next area. All right, as soon as the screen fades in, we can see right off the bat that there are two treasure chests. One that actually has a little dark magic bits floating around it, and one just out in the foreground to the front left side there. You can kind of see it in the corner there. Uh, use the dark magic on the one in the back, then use Wingardium Leviosa to build up the skeleton, and them bones, them bones will pull the rocks, and it'll come tumbling down, and look at that. It knocks him down, but kicks down with a house crest. Happens to be the second one, and more importantly, the green one. And before moving on or advancing, we're going to go ahead and get that treasure chest in the front left. Now, a little side note here, not a fun fact for you. You can see Snape is actually trapped under those rocks. I actually can't get out of there for quite some time, so I did speed that up. But make sure you grab that treasure chest up front. And unfortunately, we need both characters for this next part, and we can't get free. So, like I said, I did speed this up quite a bit, and I fought my way through. In some cases, you might actually have to start... Uh, hit start button and exit but in my case i eventually fought my way out of there showing that uh yes with enough patience you might be able to wiggle your way out of any situation so uh there's always a way you just gotta find it as i like to say speaking of which we're gonna keep on keeping on up top but it's important to note that you need the character on the bottom to use wing guardian leviosa on those weird like i don't know what those are i don't know roots of some sort perhaps they don't really look like roots they're more of like a I don't know, like a grating or something you'd see out in front of a garden or something. Anyways, use Wingardium Leviosa on the bottom to move the crab into place and smash him on the head. Use your upper character on the top to go ahead and swim along and give the old zapparoo to that squid's eye, which will then remove his tentacles from down below and cause a bunch of rocks to fall, top and bottom. And then the squid pops through and inks us. Oh no, we've been inked! Well, what we're going to do here is it's important to f swim through all four of these X areas. So there's like the upper left, lower left, upper right, lower right. Go through swimming in all of those using Lumis Solemn and basically clear out all that dark squid ink with Lumis Solemn. And uh, it'll actually reward you with a house crest. Now, I grab the old oyster. Uh, I guess it's a pearl for the oyster here. And I slam it in and he swims off before I actually... Uh, get the house crest here but I do swim back and I find that uh, I had to go to the bottom one yet again to go ahead and uh, get that house crest oh sorry it's the top one to get that house crest to pop so look at that booyah ka -shaw! get on out of here and give me that yellow house crest alright we go ahead and grab that only one left for the house crests and so we're gonna go ahead and swim up and swim out now we're in the final area here where we have to uh, raise and destroy the three silver, I don't know, chain links, I guess. And right off the bat, we're going to go ahead and send some Reducto off to that treasure chest and grab that character token. And uh, even faster, we're going to go ahead and lift the left uh, rock, I guess it is, that allows us to lift the left chain. Then below where we just lifted that rock, there is a worm. We're going to use Wingardium Leviosa to move that worm over to the middle rock there. Then you can see the little creature-like guy floats in and starts nibbling on the worm. Then we get attacked by some merma or mermaids there. I almost called them mermen. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take those guys out with a quick flick of the wrist. And then on the right-hand side, use Leviosa to move that anchor up, which frees the chain and actually gives us access to the silver coin in the back. For some reason, it does not destroy itself yet, but look at that. I'm targeting it. Bam, it goes away. We also use Leviosa to go ahead and move that second worm into place, and we destroy both of those creatures, and look at that. Booyah ka -shaw. The fourth and final house crest, the red one, which just leaves uh, one last task here, and that is to free the final guy here floating in the back. So... Uh, go ahead and swim through the tunnel, doo -doo 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 -doo, as you can see we just did, and then uh, we'll use our wand to get rid of one last mermaid, 
Use Wingardium Leviosa to go ahead and move that purple ball onto the counterbalance there. And then it lifts up the chain, or it gives us a chance to lift up the anchor, which lifts up the chain. And then we'll zap it with Reducto, and guess what? It's final total screen time. All right, one, two, three character tokens. Ha, ha, ha. All right, I'm losing my count esque ways there as we're getting to a close here in the video series all four house crests are now ours as well as a handful of studs including the true wizard status gold bricks for both of those and uh, look at that woohoo we flipped that two million mark finally not bad for a guy with only a two times multiplier hey look even the student agrees you see he looked sad but then he turned that round up all right so one two three gold bricks for us and that exit level means only one thing. It means that that's it for Lego Harry Potter years one through four, level 23, the Black Lake free play. Hopefully you guys found this video entertaining and maybe a wee bit helpful. I know it was a little confusing. Quick links make it a little even confusing or I don't know if that made any sense or not. I'm just confusing myself even more. So head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or comment, vote, subscribe down below. We of course have G+, Instagram, and Twitch as well as happythumbsgaming.com. All of those links can be found down below in the video description, and we encourage you to uh, check us out. We have all sorts of things going on. I would say Facebook is probably the most active, being that we have contests there on Fridays, so hopefully you guys get a chance to participate and maybe even win. As for me, that's it. So as always, until next time... Do 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 do. See ya, see ya, see ya, see ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. Do 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 do. I don't know. It was a terrible remix. Anyways, one last time. See ya.